So uh, I'm going to uh, tell you what uh, we're doing with FIRE and uh, a little bit about uh, my company, Health Samurai. So Health Samurai, um, we've been developing solutions for healthcare for uh, more than a decade. And um, in particular, we have developed uh, cloud and patient EHR, which we uh, deployed into three hospitals in uh, California. Uh, recently, last few years, our main product is uh, 8box, um, turnkey clinical data provisioning solution and development platform for modern web and mobile healthcare applications. And uh, so what is 8box? Well, first of all, 8box uh, supports an ecosystem of uh, multiple connected healthcare applications. Uh, for application developers, it uh, cuts time to market and uh, development costs of uh, healthcare applications. Um, our attitude to fire was uh, right from the beginning very pragmatic. We uh, tried to use FHIR in real applications uh, since 2012. Uh, we started with using some FHIR data models in our development, but then uh, developed this uh, clinical data repository uh, offering full FHIR data model and started using it as a backend for uh, healthcare applications development. Um, we always believe that uh, the platform is as good as the best application you can develop on top of it. So uh, I really want to, um, I hope you didn't miss uh, Nero's Health presentation yesterday. Uh, the guys built enterprise system, care coordination and HR software for palliative care clinics and they leverage eight box for this development. Um, some other development like Netrica, they built uh, kind of like HIE system uh, for exchanging medication prescription and laboratory test results uh, between uh, provider organizations and laboratories. Uh, some other clients of ours. So what are the use cases? Uh, how we use FHIR? Uh, the first and the main use case is uh, using FHIR as a backend uh, for development of healthcare applications uh, using FHIR server as a backend. Um, and again, uh, to decrease time to market of uh, application development. Uh, second use case we have is uh, using uh, eight box as a clinical data repository. Uh, we provide uh, powerful data analytics tools. Uh, it all starts with a data layer. Uh, we paid a lot of attention uh, how we store data, uh, fire data into eight box. Uh, we allow it to run SQL queries against uh, clinical data repository. Uh, all search queries uh, you run against uh, eight box, uh, they are translated into SQL. And uh, if uh, like uh, you have significant volumes of data, it is possible to add uh, indexes and uh, improve the performance. Uh, recently, in addition to just plain SQL and uh, PostgreSQL repository, we integrated 8box with Elasticsearch and uh, improved analytic capabilities even further. And the last uh, use case, uh, of course, inspired by uh, meaningful use, uh, stage three, uh, certification requirements. So uh, we use 8box uh, as an API facade for legacy uh, healthcare applications. So it is possible to connect legacy applications with uh, 8box and uh, virtualize uh, legacy data through 8box into Fire API and, um, and run uh, modern uh, applications like Smart on Fire and uh, other applications that use Fire API on top of uh, 8box and essentially on top of legacy systems. So, so what is 8box? So like, um, <clears throat> In the heart of 8box, uh, there is a um, uh, storage for fire resources called Firebase. Uh, probably a well-known solution. Uh, and I should say that uh, Health Samurai like, likes open source. We built several, uh, participated in several uh, open source uh, solutions for fire. 
Uh, Firebase is one of them, also participated in Fire.js, a JavaScript library for uh, working with Fire servers. So Firebase is open source. Uh, I put a star by uh, open source because we are introducing uh, uh, improved, uh, advanced uh, features into 8box that uh, are not going to be open sourced. Uh, it's a database layer, uh, so that's why it's uh, open source with a star. Uh, we built uh, Firebase in close collaboration with uh, developers of PostgreSQL, uh, the database, um, to make sure that uh, we made all, all the right decisions uh, when we did this. Uh, PostgreSQL combines uh, great support for JSON documents, JSON binary, and also uh, has relational structures, and um, altogether, the world is a great combination for uh, building a file server. Uh, you get transaction integrity and, as I said, uh, flexible search with uh, Firebase. So, 8box uh, built on top of the Firebase and what is added to Firebase in 8box? Uh, well, first of all, it's a Fire API. Uh, we have, uh, we support right now uh, STU3. Uh, we plan to release 8box very soon, which will allow you to choose the version you want to use uh, for storing your medical data. Uh, DSTU2 or what type of STU3, and also provide uh, migration tools uh, between versions. Um, the other feature of 8box we have is uh, called policy based access control. Um, so you can um, write JSON policies and uh, specify, um, specify uh, what kind of permissions and access you want to provide to specific users, groups, or uh, applications. Uh, it's very flexible, so you can uh, do any type of permissions uh, fine-tuned to like uh, resource or uh, read write permissions and uh, I mean it's very flexible. Uh, 8box has uh, OAuth 2.0 authentication provider, but you also can use an external authentication provider if you want. Uh, we have uh, HL7 version 2 to fire connector. So you can uh, send HL7 version 2 fire, uh, HL7 version 2 data uh, into 8box and we translate it into fire and store it into the fire server. Um, we use, uh, designed by us, uh, domain uh, specific language uh, to uh, customize mapping. So when you uh, move from facility to facility, uh, you don't have to uh, change any code, you uh, just uh, reconfigure uh, this mapping using this uh, the cell language in the configuration files. Um, it box uh, includes a terminology server. Uh, nowadays, we already uh, loaded uh, ICD9, ICD10, uh, CPT, Loink, Snowmet, uh, NPI, Drug Bank, uh, maybe something else. Um, and uh, it has uh, monitoring and uh, audit tools. Um, I want to speak a little bit about infrastructure. I think it's very important. Um, so 8box has uh, fully automated uh, cloud infrastructure. Um, it's uh, dockerized. Uh, it can be deployed into any public or private cloud. Um, we allow clients to deploy their dockerized services into 8box. So if uh, somebody develops applications with 8box, uh, uh, they don't need to, uh, they can use 8box infrastructure for everything and uh, use uh, deployment and monitoring and OD tools uh, for their applications, uh, uh, like 8box tools for their own uh, applications. Um, also, uh, speaking about reliability, uh, I mean, everybody understands that uh, healthcare has no tolerance to errors and uh, the system should be reliable. So it's not just needs to be HIPAA compliant, but it also has to be fail safe. So what, what we do, we uh, uh, set up uh, redundancy servers and uh, make replication between them and make sure that uh, even if uh, something happens like the whole uh, Amazon AWS uh, zone or region goes down, which happened not so long time ago again. Uh, 
right? Uh, you still have your applications up and running. You can switch to a server in a different zone uh, automatically or manually. Um, we like Fire uh, a lot. We actually build the whole company uh, around Fire solutions. Uh, and we uh, contribute to standards. We always try to share our positive and negative experience, and we try to uh, improve the standards, extended. So there are some features, uh, pragmatic features we have in 8box, which uh, are not uh, part of the five standard yet. Uh, some of them might become. So um, one thing we have uh, validation of uh, referential consistency uh, and use uh, JSON schemas. We translate uh, um, structure definition fire profiles to JSON schemas and validate uh, fire data against uh, JSON schemas. And also, we know that some developers they have. Uh, I mean, it's pretty complex to uh, write fire profiles, so we um, uh, allow um, developers to write. Uh, JSON schemas and then uh, translate them into fire profiles as well. We uh, converted all uh, REST, fire REST API to uh, Swagger manifest and uh, it opens, enables a lot of tools. So some developers they, uh, like Swagger and it uh, keeps uh, compatibility with fire but uh, also enables uh, using Swagger, uh, Swagger API in the inbox. Somebody who might be interested in reactive interfaces, uh, Eightbox uh, implemented secure chat, and uh, we have reactive search via long polling API. So you can subscribe to the changes in the search. Uh, basically, you run the same uh, query. You would run um, um, like regular query, add the additional parameter, and uh, you subscribe to uh, the changes uh, in the search. Um, not all the data fit well into Fire data model, so for uh, some additional data, we allow to store uh, generic JSON and binary documents uh, using Fire-like API. And uh, the last thing we uh, allow to uh, convert uh, stored procedures in the database to uh, REST API endpoints. So if uh, somebody has some uh, complex aggregation queries, like for BI or maybe uh, just some very, very complex search which cannot be expressed uh, with Fire very easy. You can uh, write any story procedure and uh, have it accessible through REST API in the eight box. Uh, so what is coming? Um, so a few things. Uh, new release of the Firebase uh, for eight box in uh, C language, which will increase performance by several times. Um, support of uh, multiple five versions and uh, migration from one to another. Uh, we initiated patch operation to update uh, just one field, not the whole resource, uh, to solve concurrency problem. And we also unified uh, all uh, operations into transactions. So now we have all uh, transaction log for the file server, and uh, it gives us an opportunity to replay this uh, transaction log um, on a different file server or maybe a subset of the transaction log uh, to repeat all the operations. Um, and the last thing I want to say, uh, we, we have a couple of uh, hundred uh, people signed up with 8box and uh, we see how people sometimes struggle with certain things. So we really apply a lot of efforts to uh, decrease the barriers to enter uh, to fire development. And uh, the thing I want to show today uh, actually uh, is uh, what we call interactive tutorials, and uh, we're going to bring them uh, into 8box very soon. Uh, that's one of the uh, things we do uh, to basically educate people how to use fire, how to work with fire servers. Hopefully, it will uh, allow uh, more developers without maybe significant healthcare IT expertise to use it. So uh, let me try to switch to the demo. And uh, anybody actually can uh, go and check it. But basically, the whole idea is you would see the tutorial and you will see what kind of command 
you want to do to achieve certain result and uh, you click this run and, uh, and then you see the how it's executed on the server with uh, all the response so pretty much like this this is for instance this is the page which is built from uh, fire search uh, documentation page but it also gives uh, anyone who reads it ability to play all the operations and see how they work and uh, get a much better feeling so anybody can try 8box go to 8box.io sign up you just need your email and uh, in one second in one minute you really can with one click create a fire server and start playing with it um, I would be happy to answer questions. Don't forget to ask uh, guys from Neros Health, uh, Rob Stokes, and Ryan Harper about their first hand experience with 8box. I think that's the most valuable. Um, and thank you for having me.